Hi, Jana Boggs here, and we're going to talk about cobalt. Cobalt is a trace element that is needed, especially for microbes in the soil. So a lot of people think about microbes these days in farming, but often they don't really think about the elements that these microbes really need. And 80% of microbes in the soil won't be there if they don't get sufficient cobalt. I see this low on a lot of soil tests, but most soil tests just don't include cobalt. I mean, very, very few. So why is cobalt so important? It's the central atom in B12, vitamin B12, which is also known as cobalamate. So, Cobalt amine is cobalt and amine, which is amine is this protein, an amino acid. Yeah, so cobalt and amino acid goes cobalamine. Anyway, so, um, and what do these bacteria do with this? Well, cobalt is this, this enzyme cofactor, B12, and these microbes can actually utilize this cobalt and make B12 for us and for animals. So like in the gut of cows, for instance, those microbes in there need this cobalt so that they can make B12. So in plants, it's really important for them to have this to be able to fix nitrogen from the air. And it's important for the formation of seed coats and bark and cellulose. The production of plant hormones is also key for this. So now going back to the humans and the animals, we have the gut microflora, or we should, and a lot of times our gut microflora is so damaged that we can no longer really convert the cobalt, you know, the microbes in our gut are not there to be able to convert into B12 and make this for us. So people that are vegetarians, vegans, for instance, can have susceptibility to um, not enough B12. And it's so important for our blood cell formation. It's important for the metabolism, of carbohydrates and fats and proteins. If we have a lack of B12, we have pernicious anemia, weakness, nervousness, and damage to our peripheral nerves, which shows up as numbness in our extremities and pain. Yes, it can be very painful, peripheral neuropathy. So it's very important to have cobalt on our soil analysis. We can make sure we're getting it into the soil for the microbes, so those microbes can then function to their maximum capacity. Learn more. Go to my website, www.beyondorganicresearch.com, and click on the Soil Analysis tab.